When I was younger, there was a light fixture in our basement. It had a metal pole chain. And every time I tried to turn it on with no shoes on, I would get a shock. I learned to turn it on faster, so I would get less of a shock. I think this is when my obsession with electricity started. Before we get started with this project, I just want to let you know I am not an electrician. I have no electrical contracting experience. This is just what I did. It's not a how-to video, but I learned a lot, so I wanted to share it. So here it is. Let's start with the parts list. I bought four six-gauge THHN wires, one black, one red, one white, one green, six-foot non-metallic conduit, a four-inch metal electrical box, along with a cover that goes with a 30 or 50 amp receptacle. A NEMA 1450 240 volt 50 amp outlet and a 50 amp double pole breaker. The first thing I did was make sure all the power was out in the garage. I could do that by going in the house and shutting off a breaker that will turn off this entire panel. I then double checked it with my multimeter to make sure all the power was off. Then I cut away the section of sheetrock below the panel and found where I wanted to put the outlet. I then knocked out the little metal tabs. The first metal tab I knocked out of the box was actually in the wrong spot, so I moved it over to the side and knocked it out there. Then I cut down and installed the conduit, and I tried feeding the wires down into the conduit. It was really tight and I just couldn't get the wires to go all the way through, so instead I removed the conduit and just slid the wires through and then I reinstalled it afterwards. Then I reinstalled the conduit with the wires already in it and tightened down the connector. Once the wires were in place, then all I had to do was wire it up. The two main sections are the breaker panel and the outlet itself. The ground connection goes to the ground bar, and the neutral connection goes to the neutral bar. In order to get to 240, you have to take one connection from each hot bus bar, and there are two of them. The double pole breaker takes one connection from one hot bus bar, which is 120 volts, and another from the other one, which is another 120 volts, giving you a total of 240 volts. Here I connected the white wire to the neutral bar, and the green wire to the ground bar. Then I connected the red and black hot wires to the breaker. Then it was time to connect the outlet wires. One of the nice things about this outlet, it actually has a little diagram on the side of it that tells you exactly how much sheathing you have to take off of the wire in order to install it. So after measuring that up and stripping the ends of the wire, then I could make the connection. I left a little bit of extra play in the wires and connected them, tightened them down, and then screwed the panel in. Then I double checked we had the correct voltages and the right connections, and everything checked out. Now I did make a mistake early on knocking out the wrong piece of metal from the box and switching over to the side. Now you can't leave a hole in your electrical connections because if anything gets in there, then it can short, start a fire, and it's a safety hazard. Fortunately, they make these metal replacement knockouts that you can put in and it'll secure it correctly. And then I tested it out using this VFD and a motor that I have. The first thing to note is that safety is priority. Working with electrical components is very dangerous, and you should only do it if you feel confident that you can handle the project. Which brings us to tip number two, which is hire a professional. If you're uncomfortable at all in doing any of this work, just reach out and hire a professional. They have the experience, and they'll probably be able to do it a lot faster than you could. And the last thing is the replacement covers for those unused knockouts. 
Obviously somebody has knocked out the wrong ones previously and this is a great solution to fix it. And that way the box can still be used and still be used in the right way. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was a great project and I learned a lot and I hope you did too. If you have any comments, please leave them below, especially if you're an electrician and you know what you're doing, that would be great. Um, if not, just like, hit subscribe, and we're going to be getting to more of these videos. So we'll see you in the next project.